Anatoly Mulliken scored yet another earth-shattering knockout to claim the one interim heavyweight world title in the main event of one championship's bad blood. And his defeat of Kirill Grishenko set up a future undisputed bout with the champ, Arjun Bular. Bad Blood's original headliner between the bantamweight champ Bibiano Fernandez and his latest rival John Lineker was scrapped at the last minute after Lineker was forced from the bout due to COVID health and safety protocols. Mulliken picked up the slack with this crushing right hand. It took a round and a half to land the bomb, but boy did it land. Grishenko was on the back foot with his hands down while Mulliken chased with massive rights, the second of which clipped Grishenko on the button and it was all over. The shot earned him his 11th straight victory without a loss or even going the distance, as well as the interim title and a pair of $50,000 performance bonuses. And in the co-main, Jonathan Haggerty may have earned himself a trilogy bout with the flyweight Muay Thai champ Radtang Jitmangnon after soundly defeating Mongol pet Pechi Indy by unanimous decision. Going into the final round, both men had given everything they had and buckled each other repeatedly. But with one good elbow, Haggerty left his mark on the fight and Mongol Pet's forehead. He only needed a split second of space to slice open the TIE fighter with his right elbow, and it was enough to guarantee him the decision on all three scorecards. Also on the card, Wu Sung Hoon debuted with an 18 second starching of Yud Kai Kao Vertex. Wu came into the cage riding a seven fight winning streak that featured six knockouts when he landed this crushing right hand in what was a perfect way to start his run at a title. It was the second fastest KO in the history of one's flyweight division and earned the South Korean a surprise 50K performance bonus. Daniel Williams folded the Muay Thai legend Dejamrong Sor Amnoy Sirachoke with a straight right to the solar plexus. The Australian swarmed the TIE fighter until he landed his right hand that the Jamrong didn't even register, at least not at first. And Odie Delaney started the night with this painful first round submission of Thomas Narmo. To score the fastest submission win in one's heavyweight division in your debut is pretty special, but you won't see someone's arm go much further behind their back than this, and that's priceless. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.